Hello there, my dear is Capricorn. So uh, you're lost, but definitely um, not the least um, during the May readings since we're approaching the end of May. So that will be it. Um, we're moving on to June now, but still, let's see what energies are at play. This is your soulmate twin flame reading for the time frame of 26 until the 31st of May. Um, I'm doing a threefold system, threefold way here. Um, I've got three. Um, rows of cards and that helps me to analyze how you feel about your soulmate twin flame or the person you have um, major feelings for. Uh, we reflect back on how they feel towards you and the last row is um, using Doreen Virtue's Romance Angel cards to seek further clarity or wrap up the whole reading and see what energies are at play or what is actually going on within the dynamic of your connection and also um, to see what underlying energies are for you, for your feelings towards them and vice versa. Um, I use the Gilded Tarot to establish how they feel about you and the Rider Waite uh, Tarot deck to see how you feel about them as well. So the first card you have is the Five of Cups. You are disappointed about something, but since he's looking into the left hand side um, over these uh, three cups that have been uh, knocked over, that suggests to me like you're focusing on the past quite a lot and you're not seeing what's resting in the future or at the present moment. You're, he's not looking at these two cups here. I feel like you're a bit emotionally guided as well and you're fighting. Uh, you have a connection with somebody um, but you're fighting it uh, because we have the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a card of intuition and since um, we have the Two of Cups right next to it, I feel you really are feeling this connection between you and this other person. Uh, you may feel uh, there is a secret they need to reveal to you or you're holding a secret that needs to be released and re revealed. Um, somewhat you're, up, you're ready to um, communicate how you feel about them, you're, you're ready to offer them your cup. But then at the same time, you're feeling really defensive over it. Like, I think it's because you may have been hurt in the past. And you you, you know, since maybe um, someone's hurt you. But I don't think it's this individual that you you got your eyes set on. And we have the strength card. You could be dealing with the Leo in particular. But the strength card here, I think, indicates that you're taming your emotions. You may feel... Um, in love with this individual I have like you know great chemistry with them but you're taming your feelings and you're not letting them show you, you're not allowing them to see through the facade um, of yourself but the, the, the high priestess right next to the two of cups definitely indicates a higher connection between the two of you two of cups is a card of soulmates uh, people that are very compatible with each other and the high priestess is always the card uh, it, is, is number two in the major arcana uh, number two is a card of duality um, partnerships two people right we have these two pillars the yin and the yang so it could be that this individual you got your eyes set upon um, is very different from you but that's why you balance each other out really well and that's why you attract each other differences attract people but i think you know you feel the connection is there and intuitively sorry i can't too complicated to pronounce that word today um in, in intuition is guiding you and letting you feel that they're your soulmate but you're focusing on some issue that has happened to you in the past and may have emotionally hurt you um and you're not seeing the reality of this connection that you have with this individual and you're taming those emotions that you have for them and you know the underlying energy here for you we have the uh, the nine of pentacles so the way you're feeling about them maybe they're quite um well off uh, materially speaking could be very good looking as well um could be that because they're good looking and you have this um 
seven of wands is your you know they're fighting of competition or maybe they got a lot of other people's um attention as well uh you know and you feel like you're competing against others because you see these wands are coming at him like maybe you feel you have to compete that's why you are taming yourself you know and not expressing how you f you're feeling because you're still hurting over what's happened to you in the past and you don't want to put yourself in that position again or go through that again however intuitively you know um this is a very es esoteric card so esoterically speaking you know there's a connection there but you cannot pinpoint as to why you're feeling that way but you're very certain within your gut that this is the person for you but unfortunately um in the physical realm you're, you're unable to clarify that or gain any evidence that's why you're feeling defensive over it or maybe you're fighting that feeling about them um as I said, they could be very nurturing, they could be very abundant, they could be younger than you potentially as well, or just a very young energy, could be very, um, have a carefree sense of life, uh, could be mature in certain aspects of life as well, but in terms of maybe just a great sense of humor or an immature sense of humor they have. Um, so that's how you feel about them. Then how do they feel about you? Well, funnily enough, we have nine of pentacles here as well. So in that case it could also say vice versa you're younger than them uh you know you could be a female who's got uh, a brown uh, dark hair younger female with dark hair um as this person in the card you know what you look like right but i'm just saying so they may see you as someone who's very good looking as well someone who's nurturing someone who's abundant a strong person you know mm, close to nature because look how she's uh um communicating with these animals you know like maybe they see you very sociable very friendly um a kind person you know who is very nurturing so that that's very nice and as i say they do see you as quite aesthetically pleasing uh, we have the death card here could be dealing with a scorpio if it's not a leo um but i think it's for some of you it's a leo in particular and i'll explain as to why but this is a card of scorpio but this is a card of transforming oneself and moving into the next phase of life i actually like the death card um new beginnings are on the horizon so they could potentially see you as someone who may be able to transform their life for the better but we have a justice card here card of libra some of you could be also dealing with a Libra will apply to everyone differently, Sun, Moon or Rising, Zodiac sign. Um, but that to me, next to the that says that, that in order to make those changes within their life, they're seeking some type of balance. Or maybe because you're giving them the cold shoulder, you're fighting them off in a sense. Uh, maybe they're trying to establish balance as in to, to find out once and for all uh, whether there is something there or not they do have uh, feelings for you and they have quite a few uh, major arcana cards um, within how they feel about you so it's quite prominent energy you know they do think of you quite quite a bit and they do see as potentially a transformative new phase of life uh, that they can possibly even gain emotional balance with and how do they also see you as the king of uh, wands or as I said they could be a Leo themselves and they um, behave towards you as in they, they, they're very passionate because ones um, and the king of ones is someone very passionate talking about sexual passions as well um, it could be very optimistic uh, towards you um, you know he has that fire or she or he has because the king doesn't necessarily have to be a male um, individual could be a female as well but they have that you know fire that spark burning for you in a passionate sense at the same time they could also see you as someone who's very energetic determined optimistic someone who will start and finish something you know someone who's very determined to attain their goals but on the contrary maybe someone who's very re fast reacting like the fire it, it quickly you know takes submerges everything and burns out as it goes but then we with the king of wands we had the nine of cups that has fallen out and the star aquarius could be dealing with aquarius and um, nine of cups with this king of wands and and the star card basically to s sum it all up just says that uh they you may be their wish and they have high hopes for this connection because the star card is all about wishing and um hopes 
and nine of cups because look at this look at this man's face and how he's celebrating joyful cups are related to emotions so since we had the king of one situation situated right next to this nine of cups and the star card um could have sexual feelings for you um could have very optimistic outlook on you not only that but they emotionally are wishing for you you may be their wish and they have high hopes for this um the star card also talks about um you know how she's pouring the cups uh she's got two cups and she's pouring out both of them so they could be trying to manifest uh, you into the physical realm as well um the star card is the star of wishing and manifesting as well uh, since the water represents our unconscious mind as well so in their mind they could be practicing the law of attraction to attract you to them that's why you cannot get rid of this gut feeling and your intuition because it's like i think we're all connected in a sense and you know if if, if there's a connection between you and someone else and you know they, they they are constantly thinking about you or wishing for you then i feel like you may be feeling that and you know thoughts of them may be haunting you as well when they're thinking about you if that makes sense like you know we're all in, interconnected amongst each other and then for the underlying energy we have the knight of pentacles I think what that means that within you they see a stable long-term future but at the same time i think they're feeling like you're moving a bit slow uh this is um pentacles is an earth energy your energy or energy of earth signs virgo taurus as your soul and yourself capricorn but you're doing the right thing if you're like you know maybe try not to focus too much on the past is gone learn where you can from it but don't be so defensive or uh put up this facade that people cannot penetrate and you know cannot see um you when you put a wall up you know it's difficult for other people to approach you as well so they might be feeling like there's something certainly there a practical beginning is there between the two of you a stable solid um foundation may be there but it's just somebody's moving too slow but i feel like it's you because they're definitely are thinking of you wishing for you i'm seeing a new phase of life with you emotional balance but then i think you're being defensive about this connection and maybe that's why because you're not making a move they think you're um being a bit slow now pentacles you know he is he's stationary there you know knights are very um fast forward moving energies and this one is the slowest of all he's just standing there no movements happening but uh, you know and then um for dorian virtues cards um normally uh, um the, there's four but uh you had five uh come out of the deck so the first one we have deception card and it says someone is wearing a full self mask in this relationship and that really really relates back to you being regretful over something happening in the past you taming your emotions and being very defensive and guarded towards this connection so you're being quite in a, in a sense not in a bad way but you're being deceptive because they cannot establish how you truly feel about them but it's urging you to have a heart to heart conversation with this individual um honestly discuss your feelings for each other because this is a past life relationship and this we have the two of cups and the high priestess it's, it's very divinely orchestrated and connected uh you know um by the angels and says you have known each other before so that's what i mean you cannot pinpoint this connection with this person you may be so different from them you know um but you really mesh and it feels like you you know when you meet some people and it just really feels like you've actually known them before and you just can't understand as to why and we all go through our own struggles in life and you know sometimes it could be that the other person is in committed relationship or you are and you know you meet them and you know things start changing and you may feel that you're with the wrong individual or at the same time you may someone may have treated you wrong in the past that's why you're being regretful and you you know you, you you're guarding yourself um to to make sure you don't get hurt anymore but at the same time you, you're kind of blocking this uh, new love coming in your way because not everyone's the same and not everyone is going to hurt you uh you know and there are people that are meant for each other and by putting walls up you're you're kind of inhibiting the fast forward movement of this dynamic within the romance um it says retreat 
it's time to disconnect from the world and that came out with the new love and it says a new person has said your romantic feelings as i say you do feel disconnection for this person intuitively speaking uh you know you have some secrets that you're holding from them as well obviously not revealing how you feel because you're defensive you're regretful you're disappointed uh taming your feelings uh but certainly i think you have um, quite good emotional um uh feelings for them and you know you're retreating you're probably like taking time out um disconnecting from the world to rethink uh, you know seek inner guidance as as to how you can approach the situation and is it really what you want but you know it, it just says it all uh, you know it, if you believe in the cost co concept of uh, previous lives um it is suggesting that you've known this person before um in your previous life maybe maybe that's why you feel so connected to them um but just yeah be a bit more um, don't put any walls up sometimes you know it's easier said than done but you know try to have heart to heart conversations and be less deceitful in the sense that don't put a self mask on and don't try to um, tame your own feelings you know life is too short